Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Megan, and yes, I am in my car right now because I was trying to finish. So if you hear some road noise, just try to ignore it the best you can. So we are going to be talking about the definition of con continuity. So something that would make a uh, point not continuous is if f of c is not defined. So, like, there is no point, like, there's a, like, there's no coordinate. Uh, so if there's, like, a hole or something like that. So then a second condition to make it not continuous is it doesn't exist. So there's, like, no limit. So, for example, if uh, there was a jump, then the limit would not exist. And then the third, um way that would make it not continuous is if the limit and the point are not the same. So let's get started on our first example keeping these rules in mind. So first our example is is f of x continuous at x equals 1. So we're trying to figure out if there's a point, there's a limit, and if it the point and the limit are equal to each other. So, if we look at this, we have uh, we are trying to find if x equals 1 is continuous. But if we were to plug this into the calcul- if we were to plug this in as it is right now, 1 minus 1 is 0, and uh, 1 minus 1 is zero on the bottom again, which means that is undefined, which we cannot do. So first, we need to set up our equation. So is the limit as x approaches 1, so that, that's what we're trying to find. So then we put in our equation, so that would be x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. So, we have to factor out our numerator, so then we get the limit as x approaches 1 to be x plus 1 and x minus 1. So then, we can cancel out, after we write the bottom one, x minus 1. And so whenever we do that, that gives us a hole at x equals 1. So there is not a point. So, but there is a limit. And so the limit is equal to 2. So we do have a limit. But since there is no point to start with, you can't even have them being equal, so it is not continuous, so it is discontinuous. So let's look at our next example. So we have, is g of x continuous at x equals 4? So this is a piecewise, so you have to solve for it for the limit from the left and from the right. So we do know from this that there should be a point, but we just have to solve to figure it out. So if we solve, we have to solve for, we're going to solve for it from the left first. So we do the limit as x approaches 4 from the left is negative 2x plus 8. So what we can do is we can just plug that in, and so that is equal to negative 2 times 4 plus 8, which is equal to negative 8 plus 8, which equals 0. So we know there is a point because it is x is equal to or um, less than, so then we have a point. So then we go to check to see if the limit is the same. So then we have the limit 
as x approaches 4 from the right, it's half x minus 2. And so then we can just plug in 4. So we have 4 times half minus 2. And then that gives us 2 minus 2, which equals 0. So that does give us a limit. So then we have to see if the point is equal to each other. And 0 does equal 0. So this point is continuous. So now let's look at our last example. Is h of x continuous at x equals 3? So, we need to solve. So, if we're sol looking from the left, put the limit as x approaches 3 from the left, well, that's just 2. So that's our final answer, 2. And so, then, if we look from the right, so the limit as x approaches 3 from the right it is negative 5 plus uh, plus x. And so then we solve and we get negative 5 plus 3 which gives us negative 2. Well negative 2 and positive 2 do not equal each other so there is no limit but there is a point. But since there's not a limit, they do not equal each other. And so that's how you figure out if a point is continuous.